no sugar, no mayo, tasty, crunchy, two delicious and healthy coleslaw recipes, creamy and tangy, any secret, no secrets, simple and tasty dressing ingredients like sour cream, olive oil, vinegar, Greek yogurt, guilt-free option. Whether you are looking for a side dish for a barbecue or a tasty way to add more wedges to your diet, give these recipes a try. For these recipes we will use white cabbage, red cabbage, carrot and red onion. For the dressings you will need sour cream, Greek yogurt, Dijon mustard, apple cider vinegar, honey, olive oil, salt and pepper, fresh parsley and dill. Ok, let's start with our main ingredient, cabbage. It is very important to choose the proper one. When you are at the grocery store, look for a hat that is firm and heavy for its size. You want to make sure the outer leaves are crisp and fresh looking, without any brown or wilted spots. Out of season it is pretty hard to buy fresh cabbage, so make sure to remove any wilted or brown leaves. Then give the cabbage a good rinse. To cut the cabbage for coleslaw, Place the cabbage on a cutting board with the stem end facing up. Cut the cabbage in half through the stem end. Remove the core from each half of the cabbage by cutting a V-shaped wedge from the stem end. Slice the cabbage into thin strips by cutting it lengthwise. The thinner the strips, the better your coleslaw will be. And please, don't use a grater to shred the cabbage. Grating the cabbage will produce smaller, more finely shredded pieces. This can make your cold slow seem mushy and less flavorful. On the other hand, using a knife to shred the cabbage creates larger, more substantial pieces. This gives your cold slow a satisfying crunch that you just can't get with a grater. Additionally, grating the cabbage can release more of the cabbage's water, resulting in a cold slow that is too watery. So, if you want to achieve that perfect cold slow texture, using a knife is the way to go. Once you have thinly sliced the cabbage, you can chop it crosswise to make the pieces smaller if desired. The thinner you slice the cabbage, the more evenly it will be coated with the dressing and the better your cold slow will be. By the way, I tested several recipes and initially I plan to show you two more options how you can process the cabbage. First one is salt and let the juice come out and second one is salt and mash and let the juice come out. But I want to save your time and let's immediately make the recipe which I like the most. Now we need to salt and mash the cabbage and you know this is quite simple. Salt helps to release some of the liquid in the cabbage and makes it more flavorful and less watery. Plus it helps to bring out the sweetness in the cabbage. Which is always a good thing and when you mash it, it helps to break down the fibers in the cabbage, making it more tender and easier to eat but still crunchy. Honestly, I want to help my gut to digest it, you know. For this method, you want to take your shredded cabbage and put it in a large bowl. Then add a pinch of salt and mix it in well. I have tested one teaspoon salt per 370 grams of cabbage and it worked perfectly. Once the salt is evenly distributed, you can start mashing the cabbage. You can simply do it using your hands. You can just squeeze and knead the cabbage with your fingers. You don't need to mash it too much, just enough to break down the fibers and release some of the liquid, which will make the coleslaw more flavorful and less watery. And let it sit for 20 minutes. Ok, 20 minutes pass and let's check how much juice cabbage gave. Let's split white cabbage into two parts. We are going to make two different cold slows. One with white and red cabbage and carrot for creamy cold slow. Another one with white cabbage, carrot and red onion as it adds some more flavor and it can also add a subtle sweetness to the coleslaw, helping to balance out the acidity of the vinegar, which will be used in the dressing. Now, let's cut a bit of red cabbage and simply add it to the first bowl. We don't need it to salt or mash because we use much less of red cabbage than the white. And keep in mind that if you also want to salt and mash red cabbage, be sure to make it in a separate bowl because red cabbage obviously has red juice and if you will do it in the same bowl with white cabbage, then your white cabbage will become red. Now, let's prepare some carrot. One thing that I always make sure to do, and this is just the opposite of how we prepared the cabbage, is to prepare my carrots on a grater instead of using a knife. 
Grating the carrots creates small, thin pieces that are so easy to mix with the other ingredients in the coleslaw. And also it makes sure that all the pieces are the same size and texture, making the coleslaw even more consistent and delicious. It can be quite difficult to cut carrots for coleslaw with a knife because they tend to be quite firm and can be hard to chop evenly. You need some cutting skill here and some extra time. And now add carrots to both bowls. Next, peel the onion. If the skin comes off with difficulty, feel free to remove the outer layer as well. Cut the onion in half. Then make vertical cuts down the onion, slicing through the layers but not cutting all the way through the root end. Finally, make horizontal cuts across the onion. Again, being careful not to cut all the way through the root end. This technique will hold the layers of the onion together and make it easier to chop. And let's chop some fresh parsley and dill. These herbs pair well with other ingredients like cabbage, carrot and onion. And let's make our dressings, the creamy one. In a medium bowl, whisk together 100 grams of sour cream, 100 grams of Greek yogurt, 40 grams of Dijon mustard, 20 grams of apple cider vinegar and 20 grams of honey until smooth. Once that's done, slowly drizzle in 50 grams of olive oil while whisking constantly. This will help to emulsify and thicken the dressing. Next, season the dressing with salt and pepper to taste. You can always adjust the seasoning to your own preference. Take into account that we already added a salt when we were mashing the cabbage. So just control the amount of salt. And tanny dressing. Whisk together 40 grams of apple cider vinegar, 20 grams of Dijon mustard, 20 grams of honey, 15 grams of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste. Whisk until smooth. Next. Stir in the chopped parsley and dill. Taste and adjust seasoning if needed. Now let's add our dressing to the mix. And if you are interested in how to store your coleslaw to keep it fresh, stay with me till end of this video and you will know how. For the mix with onion, we will use tanny dressing. Slowly adding and stir the mix with dressing. It's safe to mix in your dressing 20 minutes before serving. If you wait any longer, the vegetables will start to lose their crispness and the perfect crunch factor you want in your coleslaw any sooner and your dressing won't be appropriately marinated. And let's do the same for another bowl, without onion and with creamy dressing. Coleslaw that is dressed too early or left to sit for too long can lose its crunch and become limp. So it is best to dress the coleslaw just before serving and to add the dressing gradually and mix it gently, so that it is evenly coated without becoming mushy. Ok, our mixes are ready. Let's put them into the fridge for 20 minutes, so wedges can brew a bit. Well, 20 minutes passed, time to try. Two delicious coleslaw recipes to choose from. And the winner is... I'm kidding, they are both beautiful. The creamy version is perfect for those who prefer milder flavor, while the tangy onion version has a more tart flavor. Creamy is a good one and it actually tastes like a classic version of coleslaw salad with mayonnaise. But I like the second option more because of the combination of onions, dill and parsley. Anyway, I will eat both of them. Both are easy to make. Both of them don't have any sugar, any mayo. By the way, as I promised, if you are making your coleslaw early or preparing it for the next day or simply want to eat a little today and a little tomorrow, store both your vegetables and dressing separately in an airtight container in the fridge. Such dressings can be stored in the fridge for up to 5 days as they contain vinegar. As soon as you want to make a salad, just add dressing to vegetables and let it brew for 20 minutes. Okay. Now you know how to cook healthy and delicious coleslaw salads. But you are not going to eat it just like that without anything, right? 
cold soul salad goes perfectly well with juicy homemade burgers. Click this video right here and learn how delicious it is to eat burgers with cold slow. Thanks for watching!